Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord God Almighty. Maker and possessor of heaven and earth. I am David Eichbonner, and this is David Eichbonner Ministries. Well, we began in another video, and uh, now we are back. We got cut off with the stream. The live stream got broken. So we are back again. Now, I'm going to be praying today for those who are sick, those who are oppressed. We are going to be having uh, people putting in their prayer requests. You are very free to place a prayer request as a comment. Even if you are not watching it at the moment I'm live, if you are watching the replay, you can still place it as a comment. Okay, we are back. Hallelujah. Thank him for the opportunity he has given to you. Thank him for the opportunity he has given to you. That you are here is by his mercy. Give him praise. And give him thanks. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Our God is an awesome God. Thank him that you are in this. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke every attack on this live feed. We rebuke every act of sabotage against this uh, service. In the name of Jesus, we bind you, devil. We bind you, evil spirits and forces that are attempting to hinder this service. In the name of Jesus, we bind you with chains of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. And now, in the name of Jesus, we release the clear feed. We we sanctify the instruments being used in the transmission and reception with the blood of Jesus. Transmission and reception will be clear now in Jesus' name. And now I want you to confess your sins unto the Lord. I want you to ask for mercy. Because now we are going to be praying for the sick. It is important that you are clean in spirit. So ask the Lord to forgive your sins. If there be any sin in your life, ask him to reveal it to you and to have mercy on you right now ask him for mercy ask him for mercy confess all sins ask him for mercy lord we ask for your forgiveness lord concerning our lives we ask that you forgive our sins forgive the words of our mouth the thoughts of our heart and our actions, the theft, the lies, the foolish speaking, the gossip, the slander, the uh, immorality, the loss. Lord, forgive the anger. Forgive, Lord God, rebellion. Forgive, Lord God, that bitterness. Cleanse us, O oh God, and purge us clean. We pray of every iniquity and, and sin. We pray in Jesus' name. We ask, Lord God, for your mercy. Give us the grace not to sin to walk in holiness and righteousness put to shame and to flight them that seek our heart we pray in the mighty name of jesus glory to your name in the name of jesus i rebuke the spirit of depression that has plagued the people I rebuke you, you spirit of depression and anxiety. Loose your hold on them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Be gone from them. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, spirit of fear. For the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Spirit of fear, you have no place in their lives. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Be gone. Be gone. In the mighty name of Jesus.
I rebuke you sickness, sickness and disease. I command you be gone from your bodies now in Jesus' name. Be gone. High blood pressure. I speak to you now. Be gone from that body. I command your blood pressure. Your man, your woman, boy, your girl. Blood pressure be normal. Normalize now in Jesus' name. Normalize right now. I rebuke you, leukemia. Lord, I ask for new red blood cells and new white blood cells to these ones in need. I pray, Heavenly Father, that your healing power will come upon everyone participating in this service and those they are believing you for. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let your healing power come upon them, O God. Let your healing power come upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your healing power come upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke you. Cancer. I rebuke you breast cancer in the name of Jesus. I command every cancer cell to die. And let new ones come come up now in Jesus name new cells new cells right now let there be new cells in this body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ breast cancer go breast cancer go in the mighty name of Jesus go go I speak healing now to that body I rebuke you cancer uh, uh, lung cancer Every cancer I rebuke now in the name of Jesus and I command normalcy to the body. I command new cells to come up. New cells in the name of Jesus. You demon of cancer, lose your hold on these ones now. Lose your hold on these ones now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose your hold. Loose your hold right now. Be gone. I command you, you demon of cancer, be gone from these people in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we thank you. We thank you that by the blood of Jesus uh, we are saved. We thank you that by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. His stripes are not in vain. We bless you, Lord, you are holy. Forever you are God. We thank you for your healing power. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for your healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. I ask, Lord God, that there will be instant recovery with everyone participating in this service and those they are believing for. That there will be instant and quick recovery. Pray, Lord God, that there will be new cells to replace the cancer cells. You are the God that heals us. Manifest yourself, O Lord, as our healer, as our deliverer. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke you, deafness. Deafness. Cease on that ear. Right now, that left ear. Be open in Jesus' name. Be open in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke you, deafness. Deafness on both ears. In the name of Jesus, cease. Now ears be opened. In the mighty name of Jesus, hear. Hear. You are healed now. In the name of Jesus, you are healed.
There is no weapon formed against you, child of God, that shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, I command you, deaf and dumb spirit, be gone from these ones now. Be gone from them in the mighty name of Jesus. Be gone from them. In the mighty name of Jesus, be gone. Right now, be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for healings that are that have taken place. Those that are taking place right now, I thank you. For those that will take place, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I ask, oh God, that you glorify your name by healing these ones. Glorify your name by healing them. In the name of Jesus. Glorify your name, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Don't rest on me. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. I want to read a scripture. I will continue praying. I'm going to read a scripture. And uh, please do share this video where we experience some uh hindrances earlier on uh some of our videos are going to be pre-recorded now because there seems to be an attack whenever we are live it's been all oh, whether we are live or not live there's an attack on the feed but it tends to intensify we feel the effect more when we are live and so there will be times you might have noticed some of our videos are not live. They are pre-recorded. So there will be times we would just stick to pre-recorded videos. But um, I try to make the prayer services live in case of uh, immediate feedback, by, uh, as in prayer requests coming in so that I just pray at that moment. But... The way it is, I will be praying, sometimes pre-recorded. I will pre-record it and upload it. And then you place your prayer points. Even if I'm not live at that moment, you can place your prayer points as comments. And I will take them. I will pray concerning them later on. So you don't need... Uh, to bother if we are not going to be live all the time, but you will definitely once it is that time to be a premier You will see it once it's um, 8 a.m. Eastern time we'll, You will see the premier of our services Because we have been experiencing a whole lot of uh, Attempts to shut the ministry down I want you to uh, get your Bibles. I'm going to read a scripture. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. And I'm going to read. 
please do share this video. Luke chapter 10 verse 19, it says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. Benjamin, check for sound. I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. These are the most venomous animals. Dangerous animals. Snakes and scorpions. So we are to trample them under our feet. We are to operate as higher authority. What is under your feet is beneath you. So you should understand that the devil is beneath you because you are seated with Christ far above principalities and powers. So Satan, his forces, Illuminati, Freemasonry, whatever, are beneath you. The forces of darkness are beneath you. You have a higher authority because you are seated with Christ. You are seated with Christ. And so you should not be afraid. You should not be afraid. You are seated far above them. And Jesus makes it clear that he has given you authority over them. He said, nothing shall by any means harm you. Nothing shall by any means harm you. Now, sickness is a poison of the devil. And we know the devil is a serpent. Sickness is a poison of the devil. You know, scorpions uh, sting. They sting from a scorpion. What some people will call it a bite from a scorpion. It's very painful. It's tormenting. The, the sting from a scorpion's tail is tormenting. It's painful. And so every torment... Every torment is a sting of a scorpion. Every torment and oppression in your life is from the devil. And Jesus has said that he has given us power to trample on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means harm you. God has spoken it. It is your own duty now to enforce it by confession. You enforce God's word by confession. And so you are going to confess his word right now before we move to the next step. You will confess his word. You are going to confess Luke chapter 10, verse 19. You are going to declare that you have authority. That you have authority over all the power of the enemy. So I want you to make that confession right now. Just declare it. I have authority in the name of Jesus over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm me. Let's do it again. In the name of Jesus, I have authority over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm me. You declare it, you say a big amen. 
be it unto you according to your confession. And now, I want you to break the curses in your life. You are going to do it this way. You are going to, we are going to read Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. And then we'll break the curses. You see, as a newborn, as a child of God, the enemy is limited in his ability to attack you. Sometimes you may do things that can bring a curse upon you. Now, the curse is not a curse that will hinder you from making heaven, but it will only make things difficult for you. All right? Not all curses are as a result of sin. Some of them are attacks of the enemy. And so we're going to read um, Romans chapter 8. Verse 1. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Just a moment. Romans 8, verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law, in verse 2, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. There is therefore no legal ground for any curse to be in your life. There is no legal ground for any curse to be in your life. To the unbeliever, they are under the blood, they are under bondage. They can be cursed and it will come into effect. But to the believer, if the enemy attacks you with a curse, you have the right to break it off. You, you can break that curse. And so right now you are going to please declare, you are going to break the curses that have been thrown at you by witchcraft spirits. You are going to say, in the name of Jesus, I break every curse in my life I take authority over all the power of the enemy and I stand on the scriptures that there is therefore now no condemnation to me because I am in Christ Jesus. Therefore, every oppression and every torment in my life is illegal and I command them to end now in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every satanic pronouncement against my life against my family and I nullify I cancel such pronouncements and decrees in the name of Jesus 
and they have no place nor manifestation in my life and in my family. I confess and declare that I am blessed with the blessings of Abraham. I am blessed in my going out and coming in. Because Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Amen. By making that, by doing that, you have broken the curses against you. There are witchcraft curses that cause sickness, that cause pain, that cause frustration. And you have the authority to break those curses. You have done so, and you are free. You are set free. And I want to pray for those who are not born again. If you are watching this, and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, I want you to pray this prayer, or pray in... You can use your own words. You can use your own words. Pray. I want you to say, Lord, God Almighty, I surrender to you. I repent of my sins. I ask that you cleanse me and sanctify me with the blood of Jesus. I accept and confess Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Write my name in your book of life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Keep me holy and righteous till the day I meet you. Oh Lord, I thank you. My Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. You prayed with me. You are born again. You are a child of God. You are qualified to be blessed by God. And if at this point you pray that prayer, I want you to start this video again and pray along with us. So that any satanic curse in your life will be broken. Curses manifest as sicknesses. Some sicknesses are just medical. Some sicknesses are spiritual, caused by curses. How you know a sickness that is a spiritual thing, that's a curse, is that it defies medical treatment. No matter the drugs, no matter what, the treat, normal expected treatment, it won't work. When it is repetitive and frequent, you know that you are dealing with a, a curse. Curses can manifest in finances. Some people think that it is only when someone is broke that the person is under a spiritual curse. It's not true because there are people that are financially buoyant but cursed in their finances. And it manifests in this form. No matter how much the person makes, no matter how much money the person has, the person is, is, feels broke. The person may earn a lot of income and not be able to uh, show what he or she has spent the money on. There are people that earn a lot, but they have nothing to show for in their savings or investments. Some earn thousands of dollars. And as the money comes, 
they can't actually say what they use the money for. The money is gone. Sometimes they have so many expenses appearing here and there, and the money is gone. That's a curse. So it's not only absence of finances that is a financial curse. The uh, excessive expenditure and inability to identify what you use money for is a curse. You also have curses in the area of uh, families having the same problem. It just goes from one generation to another generation. It could be divorce. Grandparents divorce, parents divorce, the individual is di having divorce. It's a curse. Sometimes the curses manifest in the area of um, failures. A curse is generally anything that makes life difficult for you. That's a curse. It's not a persecution. A persecution is what you suffer for doing righteousness. That's persecution. A curse is anything that makes life difficult for you that is not naturally a part of you. So anything that is unnatural, that is not supposed to be in your life, it makes life difficult for you. That's a curse. Can believers be cursed? Yes. They can. Jesus Christ broke. Jesus Christ destroyed the legal ground for curses to operate in the life of the believer. He took away that legal ground. And by taking it away on the cross, all we need to do is break the curses with our mouths. Because Satan can smuggle in things. You have rats in your house, but the rats are not legal occupants. That's how curses are. They're like rats. They smuggle themselves in. They may be there causing havoc until you take action against them. They are not legal occupants. You may have a dog as a pet. That dog is a resident of that house. It's an occupant of the house because it's adopted by you. It's your dog. But the rat doesn't belong to you. The rat sneaked in. It may be there causing havoc until you take action to get rid of it. It will be causing havoc. That's how curses are. Generational curses, they stand on the ground that a curse is on a particular lineage. But as a believer, when you proclaim that you belong to a higher lineage, you are a child of God in Christ Jesus. The curses, the generational curses, take off. They are broken because now you have applied your legal right. You have applied your legal right. Sometimes believers do things that will bring curses upon them. Like uh, playing the Ouija board or tarot cards or asking, telling yourself, okay, I was born in so-so and so month. There is a star for that month. And then curses come upon them because God said curse is he that uh, inquires from uh, divination. Even this foolish game being played on Facebook where people uh, type in and say uh, what will happen in 2022. And then Facebook shows them a picture that, oh, they are going to have money or they are going to meet somebody they like. That's a form of divination. It's dangerous. It's bad. It opens doors for curses. You are not to inquire. You see, Facebook has room for divination. When they say, what will happen in the next six months? That's divination. 
Divination is inquiring from anyone other than the Holy Spirit. Inquiring concerning the future from anyone other than the Holy Spirit. That's divination. When you are inquiring from an algorithm, it's divination and it's sin. So those of you who are doing it, you are believers, you better be careful. You are opening doors for the enemy to attack you. Because you are practicing divination by going to Facebook and asking Facebook who you are going to marry or who you were in your former life or who you are you, you could have been in this life. That's divination. So don't give room for the devil to come in. And if the devil sneaks in, it is your duty to cast him out. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. And that is how believers are to act. So, believers have the, the freedom from curses by being able to break them. The unbelievers being under the authority of the devil don't have that. The unbelievers, those who have not given their hearts to Jesus Christ, do not have the authority to be free from curses, to break curses in their lives. Because they are in the, power, the kingdom of darkness. But as a believer, you have the authority to break curses the enemy throws at you because they are not legal occupants. And that is why we, we pray and we uh, made those proclamations. Okay, I see a request here. I need healing now. Healing from what? Can you be specific so that we know what to pray about? What is the issue you need healing from? Okay, you specify. Specify what you need healing from. And so right now I'm going to pray as we round up the service. I would uh, advise that those joining now, you can play back. And pray along and have faith. Have faith. Whether you're watching the replay or watching it at the moment, I am live. The healing power of God is touching you, it's locating you. Fear not, God is with you. God is with you. And you can always drop your prayer requests as comments. I would read them. I would still read them. I will read and pray. And be specific when you are uh, placing these comments. You need healing. Healing from what? You need deliverance. Deliverance from what? That's how things uh, are to be done as a believer. All right? We pray specifically. Father, I thank you for everyone participating in this service. I pray, Heavenly Father, that your hand will intervene in their situations. I pray you give them wisdom to make the right decisions. I pray you strengthen them in their walk with you. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will reveal every uh, aspect in their lives that they are not living right. I pray in the name of Jesus. I rebuke breast tumor. I see someone, uh, Lizzie, I rebuke the breast tumor. Now, in the name of Jesus, receive your healing. And everyone with breast tumor, receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you for your power. Thank you for the curses that have been broken. I pray, Lord, you will guide every one, every participant in this service, that they will not make mistakes. They will not repeat the mistakes and the errors that brought the curses upon them before. I break that curse 
of sleepiness when it's time to fellowship. There are some of you that when it is time for fellowship or church services or prayer time, that's when you doze off and sleep. It's demonic. In the name of Jesus, I break that curse now. Spirit of slumber, I command you to loose your hold on these ones. I expel you now from this boy and this girl, this man and this woman. In the name of Jesus, I expel you from them. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. Uh, for Lang's son. I pray that you will give him the right partner for marriage. That you, Lord God, will guide his marital decisions and that he will have a peaceful home. I thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for peace and restoration in, in families. I pray, Lord God, that there shall be unity in families. Lord, I pray for healing in relationships, family relationships. I pray for those who have been alienated from their loved ones. I pray for the wounds to be healed. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you heal the wounds. And that, Lord, the families will come together. Parents and children, spouses will come together in love. Thank you, Lord God. I pray for broken marriages to be restored. I pray, Lord, for broken marriages to be restored. Let the children grow up in good homes, not broken homes. And I pray, Heavenly Father, for the single parents that, Lord, you will give them grace. You will send them help. And I pray that, Lord, you settle them maritally. The father to the fatherless, mother to the motherless, oh God. Fill that void. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Your word says, your name, I am that I am. Lord, be to us all that we need you to be. Thank you, Father, for this service. Thank you for the participants. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining. I am David Agbona, and this is David Agbona Ministries, our prayer, healing, and deliverance service. As I said, we've been experiencing a lot of interferences in our uh, live feeds and even the the uploaded ones, the pre-recorded ones. And so uh, I think quite often we are going to be having pre-recorded services premiering at the scheduled time. What I mean is we already have times that we go live. Uh, you can see it on my page, David Eidmona Ministries 2. You see it on that page, David Agbona Ministries 2. Uh, you know when we are live, when we, uh, we premiere our, our videos. So we are going to be pre-recording them and placing them there. But know the times and the days we are live. 
and then set your alarm. We are in the end time. You have to apply wisdom or you get left behind. The enemy is doing what he can to stop you from being blessed. Some people are actually waiting to be spoon-fed. Our first page, David Eichmann Ministries, was taken down without notice, without room for appeal. It was done all of a sudden. David Eichmann Ministries and David Eichmann Ministries Espanol, the Spanish version, taken down. There are people who have lost contact with the page. I'm saying this again. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, David Eichmann Ministries, on YouTube. Go to Brighton, David Eichmann Ministries. If you are on gab.com and there at David Eichmann Ministries, these are backup channels because the, the, the thousands of people that were following my previous Facebook page, few of them now know of this one. They didn't have the backup. So these channels are back up because we are in the end time. There is anger towards the truth. Our feeds are being interfered with. Some people are not able to watch. Some people are not able to comment. Some people's likes disappear. They click like and then it goes off. It doesn't. Tr- Some people have their, their, their the video choppy. Some don't have sound. It is being done to frustrate the work of God. And the work of God cannot be frustrated. So it's time for you to take responsibility now. It's a battle. The devil does not want you to grow. Know the times and the days we are alive. Sunday, Tuesday, Friday. These are the three days we are alive. Even if you miss it when we are alive or we premiere a video, go to the page any day and receive what God has from you, for you. Like and follow this page on Facebook. Go to YouTube, David Eichmann Ministries. It's on Facebook that it is David Eichmann Ministries 2 because the first page was taken down. On YouTube, David Eichmann Ministries. The same thing on Brighton and the same thing on Gab.com. Follow this ministry. I want you to be blessed. If God was not blessing people, they would not be so much interested in hindering our services, taking down our pages. So please... It's time to rise up and be matured in spirit and fight for that which is good. I want you, don't wait in case you just see the live because (laughs) you may not see it. You may not see the video at all. Even if you like and follow this page, they still try to stop you from seeing it by not notifying you. So the best thing you do is every day go to this page Go to the YouTube channel and check for updates. Because I have observed some people have been have not been receiving notifications. And I believe also that people have been unsubscribed from the YouTube channel and uh, uh, without their knowledge or permission, they have been unsubscribed from the Facebook page also. There are lots of things we've seen. So God bless you. And if you do want to support us, send a message. Reach me through my Facebook page, David Eidbona Ministries, to send a message to the page. Or you can send me an email at davideidbonaministries at gmail.com. You can use the GoFundMe link that is on my page and support this ministry. We have a lot of things we are doing. A lot of people are healed, saved, and delivered through this ministry. And I want you to be a part of it. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. God bless you.